Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today is fuse board changing day. So we're over in Belsize Park, where you've seen us working here for the last couple of weeks. And uh, today I've got this mess I've got, to, uh, I've got to sort out. So this is the magnifique mess that requires sorting. So I have to... Well, I don't really know where I'm going to start here, to be honest. That's got to come out. All this has got to come out. It's got to come out. That's, got to, that's moving upstairs. That's got to come out. All of this is going. Blah, blah. Basically, everything there is going. And we have one new 16-way fuse board to go in. So there's not actually that many circuits going in here, to be honest. We've got a ring upstairs. Uh, no, we've got a radial upstairs, two rings, two lighting circuits. There's not a huge amount going in here. It's quite as small as any little... This is, I mean, this is going to be an art gallery when it's done. So it's not a huge... You know, this isn't a big commercial place. It's only a little... Yeah, you know, it's a little shop. It's not huge. Um, but anyway, uh, let's uh, start ripping this all out. And uh, I'll touch base in a bit. Uh, somebody in the comments uh, the other week left quite a quite a mildly amusing comment. And they said, uh, how do you prove that no one's going to go behind you and turn the power back on when you're pulling the fuse board off? Um, in this scenario, it's very, very straightforward. Um, it is a bank holiday Monday. That, that is basically safe isolation, okay? Uh, it's a bank holiday Monday. I am the only silly son of a bitch stupid enough to be working on a Monday when it's glorious weather outside. And... Um, Everybody else is down on the beach uh, drinking PIMS, uh, and I'm here changing a fuse board. So I am quite confident the power is not going to be turned back on while I'm doing this fuse board today, uh, because it is absolutely dead outside in the road. Uh, there's just there's nobody on the road. It took me a total of about three minutes to drive here this morning. And Dave, Dave is working today, but I've got a feeling he's not very happy about working today. Uh, but hey ho, and all that. Why am I doing it this way? It's much easier if I just cut them all out. All right, son. Ah, oh, my word. Hang on, Tom has just delivered a... That's more important. Ah, oh, you beast. Cheers, mate. Yeah, that's all right. Wow. Chicken. Fucking hell, how much was that? About 25 quid? Well, it's, it's char-gilled chicken with sourdough bread. So, so. yeah, all right, it's about 10, huh? <laughs> yeah. Looks good, though. I oh, know, it actually does look good. Yep. Well, that's the wrong way to do it. Aye. With jobs like this, um, I tend to find that I think the, probably the single best piece of advice I could give newcomers is to just take your time. Um, it's, it's not actually as, it's not as bad as it looks. It's actually not as intimidating as, as it looks. But I would recommend, if you're going to do it, I mean, this is first thing in the morning now, so I'm on a nice, fresh head. Um, but it's one of those jobs you really just need to, to go slowly and try and be as methodical as you can and just slowly strip out bit by bit until eventually you get to the point you haven't got any wires left. So that's for the top flat. That's staying because we're not moving that. And that one is the one that's moving upstairs. This is the communal fuse board, but that's... It's a bit of a rat's nest, but that's all going to be coming out because that's moving up into the communal hallway, which will be, that'll be on another video. Um, I had another, another comment. Somebody was asking, these old BS3036, that's the ones. These are the BS3036 rewirable fuses. Uh, somebody was asking, can you, if you're doing an EICR, can you still class it as satisfactory if you see a fuse board with these in it? Uh, theoretically, there's no reason why not. Um, if it, I mean, obviously you've got to meet certain other criteria. But these are, I mean, these still will provide uh, protection. You can still, you can still use these and you can, they, they, they are still in service and there's nothing wrong with them. Obviously, they haven't got the tripping time. They haven't got the, you know, the blow time that, uh, you know, the modern 60898 fuses like these ones here have got. But yeah, in short, yes, you can. Um, they are, uh, obviously, they've got things like RCD protection and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of these boards now, when you go to do EICRs and stuff, they'll have put a front end RCD in. 
before the fuse board and that's sort of a quick way of getting around the RCD issue but obviously that if you do that that then gives you the new problem that you haven't got any discrimination between circuits if the RCD trips so um, but yeah I mean you can still uh, the trip times for those are still in the in the regs you can still pass an EICR or say it's satisfactory sorry I did have one electrician some rather anal electrician pulled me up on that a few months ago it's not pass or fail it's satisfactory or unsatisfactory yeah all right mate whatever I can't say I've ever been in the wholesaler and had a chat with an electrician and, you know, when the conversation of EICRs and stuff comes up, I can't ever say that I've ever stood there in the wholesaler speaking to another spark and said, yeah, I did, a, I did an EICR the other day and uh, I marked it down as unsatisfactory. It just doesn't flow off the tongue. It just doesn't, you know. You'll say, yeah, I did that EICR over in Richmond the other day. Yeah, it failed on this, this and this. You know, it's... <laughs> There's a few of you who, who really, you know, who really want the right terminology, but in the real world, it just ain't the case. It's the whole thing of bulbs, uh, bulbs and lamps. Um, I say bulbs because it's just second nature, because if I say the word lamps to a customer, oh, I had to change a few lamps, the customer will just look at you like, because mm -hmm. they just, you know, if you say, oh, I had to change a few bulbs, they understand it. So that's just my terminology, which I've ended up just sort of sticking with because customers in the domestic sector understand that, if you know. So uh, it's just down to terminology, I guess. We're basically finished, that's it. We're just, we're loading up all our tools now and we're just about ready to get out of here. So it's gone really well. We haven't had a chance to get a lot of footage here because there's just been, it's just been, there's just been too much going on, hasn't there? It's just been yeah. a bit, um, people coming in and out all the yeah, time. It's, it's difficult. Just, been one of those we haven't, we just haven't managed to get any footage it's been it's been too full on here but uh, today's our last day we've just about got it licked here so we're packing up and going home so i thought we'd give you a little tour and see how we've got on so both those tracks they're finally in emergency light up there in the corner in the middle there as you can see and then out there under the soffits are two little down lights just to illuminate the windows at night but these track lights, both of us are um, equally pleased on how well they came out. They, they've come out so beautifully. They're a bit of a pig to fit though, but they came oh, out. Yeah. They weren't too bad. The first track took us about two hours to fit and the second one took us about an hour, yeah. somewhere around there. But they came out really well. They're, they're a bit, they're actually more expensive than we thought because these tracks, each of the three meter length of track was about 30 quid. Yeah. The lamps, um, the lamps obviously they're separate. And the actual the, the fittings themselves, the actual LED, the actual pods themselves, the lamp holders themselves, they were about I think a tenner each. And there's eighteen of them. Yeah. And then the the actual um, the suspension wire that was a tenner per piece. So it um, it very quickly added up how much it actually cost just to put this track lighting in here in the kitchen and then downstairs. But I mean it's done now. It doesn't matter. It's just one of those. Uh, I'll just chalk it down to experience in future. But it's uh, the actual end result looks really good. So in here, uh, not a lot to see here, lights, light switches, blah, 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 all the usual bollocks. So in this little toilet room was the, there will be a bog here, there isn't one in here yet, but this was the little hand wash that went in. And they're really nice little, I'm sorry, you've got that LED flicker, which I can't do anything about. Um, but there's a little isolator in there, which you can, you can still get to the screws, but we had to put it in there because this had to be boxed in. There's going to be a little door so you can read the water meter in here. Um, so that went in. Uh, this track lighting you've already seen, but this is the kitchen. This is, uh, I mean, well, our work in here is finished now, but it still looks a bit of a mess in here because they've still got painting and just general smeg in here to do. But, but yeah. it came out all right. So one, two, three sockets, and they just literally surface. This had a, the customer deliberately specified they wanted surface. And uh, so we just put a bit of trunking. And then that's the other little hand wash there. There's a little bit of boxing I think they're putting in here just to cover up that cable and this copper pipe. Uh, and these are actually the really good little units. We were, both of us, were equally impressed how effective these little units are. They have quite a bit of power to them, I'll give them that. I mean, what, you wait about 10 seconds? Yeah. And then they're not on. Long. Not long at all. Yeah, not long, but they were impressive for the amount of, uh, for the amount of actual hot water that you got out of them. Yeah, and it's a good flow rate yeah. as well. It doesn't we restrict were, it. We were both impressed with them. Mm. So, then down here, feast your eyes on that. All that stuff that we had, all of this... Uh, well, we had all this detritus and crap that was here and that's all gone and we just replaced it with that fuse board there and a bit of four inch trunking all the way along the top but that boys and girls is the end result so that was that's a result of uh, how long did that take us about that was probably two days work there to do that oh god yeah to rip all that out and then to put the new board in and put the new board in i'd say it was probably about two days work there was quite there was a fair bit of actually it took longer than i thought as well I, it just it was one of those things it was a very methodical job you had to 
Yeah, you just had to pull it apart bit by bit, slowly, slowly, and it, it was just, it was quite a laborious, it ended up being quite a laborious process, but it's all in there, and it's, it's come out really well. So this was our emergency lighting, so this is the new, I've just left the little fish switch there for them, um, and I've just labelled them up which is which. Uh, that's the transformer for the intercom system we fitted upstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. And then that's the board we fitted. And we just left that that one there, which is uh, sticking out, is just the 40 amp for a possible shower, which they might have in future. We're not 100% sure yet whether they're going to have it or, or not. So we put the wire in for it, and it's there just for future use in case they want it for anything. And then in the corner here, all of this was... Uh, this here is the communal incomer here. This is the incomer which supplies power to the communal services upstairs. Um, but that was a bit... That was a, a mission on its own, because... Um, what we ended up having to do was Western... Was it Western Power or Southern Electric? I can't remember, Western Power or Southern Electric? No, it was EDF Energy. EDF? Oh, OK. They had to come out because they have to... Because we had to move the, the, the switches, which were originally over on the left-hand side there. We had to move them upstairs. But obviously, to do that, we had to pull these fuses out and we had to move the meter tails upstairs. And, of course, the meters had to move. So there was quite a bit of faffing around. So quite an intensive um quite an intensive job to do it so there was a lot of prep work involved but it came out really nice in the end it was uh it came out well that was the 16 mil earth which comes in and i've just uh, we've actually got to put, um i've just realized we need to put a what do you call it a electrical safety oh, electrical tag. connection do not yeah. remove or you will die sticker there yeah um and that was the uh, 16 mil three core armored which is fed from the incomer next door i was happy with it it's a nice end result yeah so this in here was the, um, you haven't seen this room for ages since we've, uh, since I last been in here. All the dados now on. So this is the end result. It looks quite low down. The customer specifically requested they wanted it low down. I've got a feeling it's because they want to put, um, they want to put benches here or they want to put, not benches, what's the word? Tables. They want to put tables desks. here. Desks. So desks, that's it. So they can, these, the desks just go over the top and then they can plug in underneath. Tom did all this. This was all his handiwork. So it was a nice, neat result. And then up here was all the track lighting, which you've seen. I turned it off because you get that LED flicker. So we're using our studio light at the minute. And then through here is our little kitchen again. That's uh, marginally better. So I'm sorry about the flicker. So that's our little another hand wash unit in here. And then under here uh, are the two few spurs. So we've got one in the toilet next door, which I'll show you. And then one to do this little hand wash just here. And then a pair of plugs outside. One drum light up there, operated via the switch. This is our studio lighting that now goes everywhere with us. <laughs> it stops the LED flicker. Yeah. And I have to hold it because we've broken the zip tie. But that's the end result. So um, I'm properly proud about that. It's a really neat finish. And then out here by the front door was the, was the new intercom system we fitted. And then out here by the front door was the new intercom system we fitted. And there were quite a few of you were saying, because on my last video you saw me do the, I did the video handset system. And there were a couple of you saying, do you fit more mainstream ones? Um, you know, the more sort of red, more more popular brands and stuff. Uh, and this one here is a Bell. I think it's eight hundred one or nine hundred one. I can't I can't remember. Uh, but this is a very very mainstream panel system here. Very you see these everywhere in London. They're very very commonplace. And all you've got is just the main panel like this, flat one, flat two. Um, uh, this box here was the uh, there was a, a small little junction box here with some of the wiring in. So all we've done is just put a, um, I'll just put a surface mattress box in um, and just my, the connections are in there. It just saves time to take like half a dozen cables into the front panel unit here. Just to, it just makes life a bit easier putting a, a separate box in and gives you a little bit more space to work as well. Yeah, so we've got to come, I mean, we've got to come back here for a day, probably next week, just to do a half a day, just to, there's not really a huge amount to finish up here, is there? A little bit of snagging and stuff, but that's... Yeah, it's just little bits floating it's about here and there, there, but... There's not a lot. The majority is We've done. got a bit of capping to put on in the kitchen. Yeah. All the lights, the outside lights are on. They're the whisker in. box is done. All the sockets are done. Fuse board's done. Yeah, we're there. I can't really think of anything else. No, we're there. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, we're basically there. We've just got uh, probably half a day next week just to come back and do a bit of titivating and snagging once the guy's had a bit of a chance to walk around and see what... See what he thinks of it, but he's more than happy. I've already spoken to him. He's, he's pleased as punch. I have a feeling Tom is playing the game. Can we fit everything in the van? All right, you're literally in the van. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, my son, was a long job. I'm glad we finished that. So all that is left to be said is goodbye and thank you for watching. So if you wish to subscribe to this, let's face it, fucking awesome vlog, you want to be clicking up here at the top. If you want to join the patrons, 
click somewhere here. That's the most important one. That is. Watch another video down here. And just pop any comments you want down below. Preferably good ones. Please. All right. Otherwise, we'll see you in a week's time. Take care, everybody. See you later, guys.